Ansley, you call me at home for this? I don't understand, sir. It, it, it ate my car. And you saw this happen. Well, I didn't actually see it. It went off into the woods. So you don't have any evidence. Uh, but, but, sir, I, I've got an eyewitness. An eyewitness with a concussion. This thing... This thing is a menace. It, 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 it tore up a power station. It, it caused a train wreck. What did? Tell me again, Mansley, and this time... Listen to yourself. <sighs> a giant... Metal monster. <laughs> Please, sir. I've got a feeling about this one. That's lovely, Kent. But let me try to explain how this works. If you told me you'd found, say, a, a giant footprint, I might send over an expert to make a plaster cast of it. Hell, you get me a photograph of this thing, and I could probably get some troops over there. But you tell me you've got a feeling. All right, then, fine. You want evidence? I'll get you evidence. And when I do, I'm going to want a memo distributed. That sounds swell, Kent. I'm going to want that memo carbon copied and redistributed. Hey! What? Shut the Hi. Thanks for the use of your phone. Well, thank you for the use of your phone, Mrs. Hughes. Annie Hughes. And this is my son, Hogarth. Thank you, Annie. Hogarth. That's Hogarth. Hogarth? <laughs> An embarrassing name. Might as well call him Zeppo or something. What kind of a sick person would name a kid Hoga? Hog, hog. Hog, hog! Hogarth Hughes! <laughs>